I'd like to take a few minutes to tell you about student ministry in Niger with our partner church, the EERN. A student hosting center is a place where students from surrounding villages can come to live while they are attending middle school or high school. The church has been building a room for boys with a study room and then a room for girls with a study room attached to the pastor's house. Then the pastor's family acts as the dorm parents in charge of the small community. Many EERN church leaders found that it was very difficult when they had to leave their villages to continue their education in middle school. It was almost impossible to find a place they could stay because they were Christians. They would either be forced to follow the religious practices of the Muslims they were staying with, or they would have to pay high boarding costs they couldn't afford. Sometimes several Christian students would successfully pool their resources to rent a room. Other future leaders became Christians after they were unable to pay rent, but were welcomed in by groups of Christian students that were sharing a room. In Niger, not every village has a school, and even most that do only have a primary school. Students have to go to larger towns to attend a secondary school. Some Christian students have to walk back and forth several hours a day to attend these schools. At the site of the EERN's first hosting center, there were previously about 35 students doing this. If the EERN has a church or evangelist post in these places, their houses quickly overflow with even two or three extra students. One region that has recently been affected by terrorist attacks has a lot of students trying to come to the safer side, and so some pastors there have as many as 50 students asking to stay with them. The goals are very broad in establishing student hosting centers. First, the church wants to do its part in making education more available to families and villages. If they can offer a free space to stay for Christian students, they've removed one of the biggest barriers for further education. Secondly, this can be a big step in interfaith dialogue and anti-extremism, because most Muslims in the country have never met a Christian. So inviting Muslim students who can't afford renting to live in this small Christian community at a hosting center can help more Muslims understand the commonalities they share. Third, inviting Muslims in is a great witness to the care God has for them. It also provides the opportunity for more students to hear about Jesus and experience His love. The EERN has now built four student hosting centers, and we've seen that it costs between $25,000 to $30,000, depending on local materials. This provides the rooms with bunk beds and desks for about 30 students. In some places, the EERN's members have been able to donate land, but in most of the new locations, the church also needs money to buy property for these hosting centers. The Presbytery of Lake Huron is encouraging congregations to join together to fund a hosting center for students this year. The Presbytery Mission Coordinating Commission would like to commit to sending $2,500 as seed money for this effort. The Midland Memorial Congregation has committed to buying the land at one of the locations where 50 students have asked to stay with the pastor. We invite other congregations to consider what they can to contribute to this effort at spreading the good news in word and deed in Niger.